Hey guys, and welcome back to Rage Gaming. My name is Hollow, and once again, I am talking about talismans. You see, there's a method that has existed in Rise already, but has become much more well known over the last week, and a lot of people are doing it. Manipulating your save to your advantage is something that's been done in many, many games for many, many years, and a lot of people call it save scumming because it's kind of scummy. This method will cut the materials you need to meld your talismans down by so much that you probably won't need any more than you already have right now. This method is also so effective that you'll be able to use it to get the talismans you want easily. However, there is technically risk involved, there are ethics involved, and it really shouldn't be a thing possible in the game, something that should really be removed, and I think likely will be. Before I talk about whether you should even do this method, let me just tell you what it is and how it works, since that's what you likely want to know first. Because this exists and is becoming much more well known, we've been asked what we think about it, and instead of making a guide on how to do it, since we think that's a bad idea, I'm going to give you the general gist of how it works. Players are able to save before melding talismans, then are able to cycle through hunts until the melds are done, all without saving. Then, after checking the melds, they can decide if they want to keep them, or simply load back to before they even melded them. And then, you guessed it, just meld some new talismans. There's an important part about cycling your talisman table before attempting the next meld too, which does require a single cheap meld, but this way, you're using barely any materials to continually roll talismans, cutting down such a massive amount of effort involved in the original talisman system. If you want to know the full details on how this works and how to do it yourself, you'll have to look elsewhere because this is likely to be removed because it breaks the game's primary end game loot system. This is obviously not intended to say the least. The reality is this is a very, very cost effective way to meld talismans until you get what you want. That is, of course, if you're willing to do it. If it's so easy and so effective, you might be wondering, well, why aren't you telling me how to do it? And why are you saying if you're willing to do it, if it's so good? Well, that's because there might be consequences if you do this on a dev level or more likely on a personal. Let's ask three very important questions in regards to this method, starting with the first, is this an exploit? Yeah, it's exploiting the game mechanics to benefit you while going against the original and planned design of the system. Well known as save scumming, similar methods do exist in many games like I've said, but the results of save scumming are very different based on the game, based on the devs and the situation. This is the devs fault for making this possible though. If it exists and provides an easier way to deal with an RNG system that affects power level, people are obviously going to do it. We can expect nothing else. So while I consider this an exploit, the question is do the devs because if they do then you're at risk if you do it you should be prepared for the possibility of punishment we don't know what that punishment might be maybe they'll roll back your save maybe you'll be banned from online play who knows however i actually don't think any punishment will happen to anyone that does this there's two important examples that are relevant here firstly in literally previous monster hunter games like monster hunter world on pc we were able to alter save files changing the stats and unlocks players could get anything in the game with no real effort. A clear example of the way players were doing this was the sheer number of people who are at max rank of 999. People who were 999 well before it was actually possible in the time given. It was extremely common for players to simply bypass the time gates like the ranks required for content using this method on PC. And then secondly, maybe this is something they've intentionally done because they don't want to force auto-saving on their players. As an example, Animal Crossing is a game that ties itself to real world time. You can only do certain things in the game at certain days or certain times. The progression of the game is even linked to the daily reset. So before you can progress, you'd need to wait in the real world time until tomorrow. The thing is, we could easily bypass that in Animal Crossing games by changing the date and time of your system. The game will think it's tomorrow when the reality might be different. That too is an exploit of the game mechanics. But despite the fact that that's the case, it's been something in the Animal Crossing series for years and isn't something that they punish. After all, what you do in Animal Crossing doesn't affect other AC players at all. And you know, it's kind of the same in Monster Hunter. Yes, your build being stronger due to the ideal talisman technically affects the hunts you do with others, but it's so, so minor. There's every chance that you could have gotten that talisman through normal gameplay means. And even then, it's tiny percents of advantage, not over other players, but yourself where you didn't have it before. It's not a PvP 
game, so what someone else has achieved in the game doesn't affect your save or game in any way. If someone is Hunter rank 999, it doesn't do anything negative to me, obviously. So while I consider this an exploit, and therefore it could technically be punished, maybe, I don't think it will be. Maybe they'll just find the way to remove the ability to do this, but I doubt they'll punish anyone when they do. So with that in mind, should you do this? I mean, no if you want to get the talismans properly, and of course, not if you fear any risk of punishment. But knowing the potential and unlikely risk, it does exist as an option. Perhaps you're someone who is adverse to this concept entirely, well then obviously don't do it. But I do think there's going to be a lot of people who this appeals to, a lot of people are already doing it, and now after this week where it's been talked about more, a lot more will be doing it. After all, not everyone has the time to farm the same monster over and over, or send monsters running into each other for parts. They'd rather just, like, play the game and hunt monsters properly and use different builds immediately. Maybe you're not able to get super fast hunts for parts in, like, five minutes or less. Maybe you'll be farming talismans for months, and your RNG is just so bad that you'll never get the one you wanted, and eventually burn out. So those are the people I think this might appeal to most. Ultimately, this currently exists as a method to get talismans for a lot less materials. I consider it exploiting game mechanics, so there is inherent risk tied to that, but it is an easy way to bypass the current talisman system that is in large part on the devs for letting this be possible. It's on you to decide if this would take away from your enjoyment of the game long term, were you to use this method, and take the unlikely but potential risk of using an exploit like this. Personally, I don't think this is something I'm going to do in my time. I really dislike the idea of getting what I want without the effort of earning it. It feels like a, forgive me, hollow victory. A huge part of Monster Hunter for me is getting the, say, gem after my various hunts of a monster, and now being able to craft that armor piece I wanted. It's just satisfying. And I see the talismans in a similar way. Though I understand how really bad luck could burn anyone out, you know, RNG is RNG after all. I think it's a shame that this exists and therefore people feel like they might have to do it. But an easy fix for this, in theory, is to force autosave on players, rather than letting it be a choice. So since that seems like an easy potential fix to me, this method could be removed from the game at any time, so we might not be able to do it for much longer, who knows. Which is again, by the way, why I think this is the dev's fault that this exists. If you're gonna let people reload the game in this way, people are gonna do it obviously. So those are my thoughts on this topic. What do you guys think? Is this an exploit? Do you think it should or shouldn't be in the game? Is this the holy grail and you can't wait to do it? I'd be interested to hear from you guys as always. I have my opinion, but you guys obviously have yours. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope this was useful or interesting. Drop a like if it was. But until next time, I've been Hollow, you've been you. And see you in the next video. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye